Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on air quality in multifamily buildings. If you live in a multifamily building, such as an apartment or a condominium, you share more than just walls with your neighbors. You may maintain a spotless home and pride yourself on a healthy indoor environment, but unfortunately, you might have a neighbor that smokes inside, has a pet you're allergic to, and leaves out food and dirty dishes that attract pests. Although you may think that your apartment or condo unit is an airtight bubble, keeping all your neighbor's contaminants at bay, there are always small pathways, and in some cases large pathways, that allow air and maybe pests to communicate between the two adjacent units. During construction, planning and effort must be dedicated to air seal the demising walls, which are the walls that separate different units. Another factor to be considered during design is pressurization. If your unit is negatively pressured in relation to a smoker's unit next door, you'll draw in environmental tobacco smoke even if the pathways are quite small. Is there a way to determine the amount of air leakage between units? The best approach is to release a tracer gas, such as sulfur hexafluoride, in one unit and measure its concentrations in the adjacent unit. A good target is to have less than 1% of the tracer gas leaking into adjacent units. If you'd like to have a professional evaluate or repair your multifamily building, for the migration of contaminants, visit the Indoor Air Quality Association's website and click on the Find an IAQA Pro button to find someone near you.